Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Come Deliverance with me, Varax, Henry and Pebbles. And we're doing a mosey on in to Rivers Lavitz. Or what will soon become. Uh, looking a little different. We, they've cut down a lot of trees. I love this stuff. I love how you can see how the world is changing due to essentially your actions. Or actions that you're heavily uh, involved in. Yeah, this is, this is just grand, this is. Because you couldn't really get, I mean, it was so overgrown, you couldn't really get, like, a, an idea of the layout. Um, but yeah, things are looking pretty good, aren't they? Aren't they, Pebbles? There's the old church. Hello there. Yeah, this is very, very, very different now. Good stuff. Right, where do we go? We need to talk to our friend. There he is in there. Of course he is. Oh, yeah. There was a uh, waypoint. I just didn't see it. Derp. Hope you're all doing very well today. Thank you very much for the comments uh, Comments last video. Uh, one said that I have uh, my videos are top notch, which I, I like that. I like that. Thanks very much for that. My videos are top notch. That's going to keep me going for at least a couple of weeks, that is. Okay. <clears throat> Hello. Welcome back. What news from Ratai? Well, the bailiff read Sir Divish's decree, and now I'm officially bailiff of Pribislavitz. Then allow me to congratulate you. What will be your first step? First, I'll, um... I'll, uh... <laughs> hmm. Actually, I'm not quite sure. What would you recommend? As it happens, I already saw a few things in your absence. You might have noticed that the first people have come from Ratai. Yeah, I saw some heading here right away. So when they arrived, I was able to start clearing building plots with them. After they directed some temporary dwellings, that is. Makes sense. Is it Ratai or Rate? I make you make your mind up. Uh so renew the church, ensure efficient income, and ensure housing for the village. Now I was told in a comment a while ago now that doing the church early isn't really needed because even though the game kind of pushes you to do it because it's the centerpiece of the village, it only acts as like um, a draw on your income and doesn't actually do anything. So I'll keep that in mind, although I do want to kind of keep the immersion in play um, and uh, so I won't just like disregard it entirely, but I will keep that in mind. Thank you for that. So we're ready to get things started? As long as you know what you want to build... I can show these new people what to do. We'll be building on the sites we've measured out. You can go and look them over first, if you like. I'll do that. I'll see what's going to be built where. Nevertheless, I doubt you'll be able to figure that out just from looking at the sites. How do I choose what to build where? I've already given it some thought on your behalf. I even wrote it all down in the accounts ledger. Everything will be recorded there. I'll make a note of every change as we proceed. Thanks. That'll be a big help. And where can I find this book? It will always be kept at the Rat House. Okay. Let's ask about paying these people. Although some of them are from Rate, uh, Slavitz. Um, <clears throat> what's, what is it called? It's gone completely out of my head. Um, but yeah, that's where we were initially. Yeah, was it Slavitz? I think that, that, that rings a bell. Um, and so we're just kind of like moving them here so they can build it and then live here and that's sort of their reward, but anyway. What about the workers' wages and buying materials for artisans? The money must be put in the trunk here. The expenditures uh. for wages and materials will be taken from it. So you should keep it topped up to prevent delays. It reminds All me, my money. There's the matter of my own pay to be resolved. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Sir Divish guaranteed me a fixed income. What's more... This job is an exceptionally big one. I see. But how much are you thinking? I have a record of payment here somewhere. Hmm. Here it is. Let's say one quarter more than that. Uh, yeah. Um. Well, no, we can do this. Well, I'll give him a little bit. Because, you know, we're nice. I can't afford that much. At least not now, right at the start. But I do need your help. How about this much? That's a fair offer. Okay. Bartering. We understand each other. I agree. <clears throat> Good. I'll put your wages in the trunk too. Are you sure it's quite safe? 
Quite. Only you and I shall have a key and access to the trunk. Besides, we'll have guards on watch here. Ah, that's reassuring. That's about all to begin with. If you yes. need any more details, I'll be happy to explain things to you. Okay. Could you explain something to me? All right, let's look at those afterwards. Nothing, actually. <laughs> <clears throat> so, how am I doing with the village? Rubbish. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. I'm doing anything yet. You're still far from having the income you need to make the village prosper. Hmm. Well, if the village isn't ready yet for the expansion Sir Divish is planning, the church is still in ruins. Doesn't create a good impression. Yeah. We're on the right track. We haven't reached the end yet. We haven't started, well, have we? I'll so, get stuck in. Yeah. Let's build then, I guess. I want to build something. Certainly, Master Bailiff. What's it to be? Oh, oh, oh. Um, I'm guessing I can back out of these and just have a look at what these are. But the village centre seems like a good place to start anyway. Right, so I can actually... The uh... thing is, I don't know whether this is... Deciding whether I want one of these or um, just saying this will explain it and then back it out again. But there was that other choice about describing it, wasn't it? So I think this is actually deciding. So I'm going to. So that's probably a good place to start. Um, on the outskirts, then we've got the Trader's Store Tavern. <clears throat> um, Pave road into the place. I'd rather not build. Right, I'm going to start skipping stuff. Could you explain first, like you know? Um, how this. do I build houses? First, find out how much it'll cost, and whether the upkeep won't ruin you. Everything is written in the ledger. Right. You can check it all there, or just come and see me. Sure. How do the accounts work? I will do this now. Hmm. The most important thing is to know how much profit your buildings generate and what they cost to operate. That's written on the very first page of the ledger, which will be kept at the Rat House. Whenever we erect a new building, I record it there. And you'll find all the profit generated by the village in the trunk next to the ledger. I think we need to put this more than we own. Then you'll have to put the amount necessary for covering the operating costs into the trunk. I see. Probably best to have a little extra there for a rainy day, then. I was going to say now. <laughs> I think it's best to put, yeah, this, this trunk in a building. Because I know we've got guards guarding it. But even so, I'd like to put it in a room somewhere. Under a lock, you know, behind a locked door. How do operating costs work? Those are the workers' wages. Costs of material and equipment for tradesmen and so on. And what if I don't have enough coin? Then production will grind to a halt. Watch out for that. Folks soon get grouchy if they're not getting paid. The yep. amount needed each day is recorded in the accounts ledger too. So you should keep enough in the trunk to cover the wages. And how do I pay the workers? Don't concern yourself about that. I'll take care of it. As long as you provide the coin. So I could put enough money there for, say, three days in advance? Indeed. Simple enough, isn't it? All right. Thanks. How can I get new people to come to the village? Don't worry about that. Folk will gradually turn up of their own accord when there are houses for them. Each building can house a certain number of people. The bigger the house, the more inhabitants. And the more space you have for them, the more country folk will come here in search of a better livelihood. What about tradesmen? I can find you fairly competent ones. But if you can get really skilled artisans, it will certainly be a boon <coughs> for the village income. Although oh. it's not all that easy to get skilled people, you could ask around. Yeah, there I'll was see. that woodcutter from Skeleton. Any suggestions? Hmm. You could try asking the two Sassau armorers for a start. They're always at each other's throats, so maybe one of them could work here. But don't forget to get a forge and armory workshop set up for him. Otherwise, you'll only be wasting his time. Right. I'll go and have a word with them later. Yeah, must have um... some thought to who else would come in handy here. Thanks. Same with that guy in, uh, yeah, who's from Skelets. How can I improve the buildings? A 
process is exactly the same as for building from the ground up. We need to have enough coin, materials, and, of course, something to improve. It goes without saying that there's no point in better blacksmith's equipment if you've no forge to put it in. Of course. I can't argue with that. But why bother with improvements at all? Because they make it possible to produce better goods that can be sold at a higher price, so we'll earn more money. What are my duties as bailiff? As bailiff, you must see to it that the village grows and prospers. You'll have to resolve disputes between citizens and decide what I should have built. The coin for it will come from your own purse. Basically, you'll have to keep the whole locality under control. But you can't just do whatever you like. You're still answerable to Sir Divish, as am I. Which means... Which means that if the folk here are unhappy, word will soon get to Sir Divish, and he'll put you in your place. So you'd better see to it that there's no thieving, and folk have jobs to do, and their wages are paid. Of course. I'll keep a close eye on things. Okay. Nothing. That's Let's actually leave all this for now and go and check out that book. It's great. Okay, so we got minus 125 for now. We got some objectives to do. That's what it looks like. Nothing currently, but I can't wait until we fill all this up. Yeah, got some tents at the bottom where the villages are just like here while they clear the trees. So a temporary rat house. Okay, so the tent will serve at the start uh, instead of a real rat house. At least you'll have a place to lay your head before you get a proper village resting. Okay. So seat of law and order. That's five grand. Oof. It is quite expensive. <laughs> Seventeen grand for that. Eight grand for a church. And then you need more for the tools as well. Okay, I get the idea. Can't be built with stables. That's one or the other. And then you can get like an archer range as well. Needs a forge and a tavern before we get that. Okay. Alright. So I think we'll start with something without any prerequisites. So we need to go to this camp, basically, don't we? That's what we need. Probably all the way. Okay. Two. Okay, we've got our, we've got a laborers camp. Woodcutters fell and process the trees in the surrounding woods, ensuring permanent supply of timber for the construction of new buildings, repairs, and basic fortifications. Good place to start. All right. So I think I know. I think I want to build that first. I want to build some. Certainly. That'll be on the outskirts, and it'll be a woodcutters camp. We'll need woodcutters to ensure timber supplies for building. It's impossible. Check what you need in the ledger. Oh. I'd rather not build anything. Okay. Let's see what I missed. I thought it was a safe bet. I should have bookmarked it. Um, I don't get it. Lebrous camp is there. Got a tick. Here. You know, Woodcutters camp. X. Here. My stupid silhouette shadow thing. Alright, let's see what we can build then. Just build. Or maybe it's because I haven't got enough money in here. Maybe that's it. That's probably it, isn't it? Alright, so we've got to other. The cash is probably in there. Or is it. Yeah. It's down there, but there we go. Will I never? Uh, let's just put half our money in there. Let's just do that. I'm never going to spend that much. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's what I was missing. I want to build. Certainly. 
We'll need woodcutters to... Very well. Good. Come along with me. Once we're there, I'll oversee the building. So they don't botch anything. And then we can get that guy from... Um... <clears throat> Rate to come along. And he can be our first artisan. No need to rush, it's fine. You don't have to run. Hello, guard. You leave pebbles alone! Oh, you really juked him there. <clears throat> All this will be mine. Mine is mine, mine! Not that I'm gonna become mad with power or anything. And then we'll get disputes, you know, and we'll have to solve uh, issues. Like, we found this thief, and he's like, Yes, but my family was starving. And that sort of, like, stuff. But a woodcutter's camp, I think, will be a good idea. I'm also going to start getting... Uh, oh, we can tackle him. <laughs> uh, a couple of... Um, Quests from inns. I think that's probably a nice little thing to do, like on the way back. Cruise up with some more side quests. Since now we've pretty much done all the side quests now, so we're gonna build here, right here. Ready to start? I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. Hmm. All good. We can start construction. A few days later. <laughs> so that was like instant. Okay, good. It's there. So we can just stay here. I thought it would be like... I thought, I thought it would be... Um, right, come back here in a day. But this is going to be fairly quick then, isn't it? If we can do this now. I want to build something. Because so now I want to build my bailiff's office thing. I'd like to build the rat house. It's impossible. Oh, fine. I'd rather not build anything. That's good. All right. So we do have woodcutter's camp now. Pretty fab. I might spend a lot of time here. Mind you, I haven't put... I guess it's because I don't have enough money in the uh, chunk anymore. Or even if I did to start with. Need to get stables for you, don't we? Like your own stables. Not not a shared one. Your own stables. Oh, there we go. Sorry. There we go. Wood got the scamp over there. Brilliant. Really nice. Um, yeah, we got that. Need 5,000. Yep. Mind you, it just says every sizable village should have a rat house. But, um, not sizable anymore right now, is it? The church is too expensive right now. As is the forge, really. Do anything... Can't be, we can't build that. We don't have any grain. I think, yeah, we don't have any livestock. Can't build that with a bakery. So this is a choice. We either go bakery and build and have grain in your pastures. But it would be pastures because livestock goes in your pasture. Or you could have grain in your fields. And you've got to make a, uh, a decision about which one you want. And they're both slightly different. So that one provides cake for the tavern, that one provides meat for the tavern. So this one uh, is more expensive in terms of... No, it generates more and provides more. I'm not sure what that first column is meaning though, because that needs more ingredients probably. Gen or, or feeds more people, probably actually, but generates less. This one feeds less people but generates more. That's probably what it is. I don't really know. Look, we can build a stables or a guard house. We 
need a forge first. What's the tavern? Right. Well, there's no point. Alright, we need a stone first and grain. So what we're looking at, really... A stone bridge that will stand up to the comings and goings of all locals and wagons carrying goods in and out. And one that will not disgrace the village. So it's... Yeah, it's... Probably a good thing to start with. We've got that. And that provides... Room for ten people. That's what it is. It's room for ten people. Okay. Okay. So we need some... Um... So how do we get... Grain and stuff? I want to build... Certainly. I'd rather not build anything. You've got 17 people. Stone grain charcoal and livestock. I don't have to get any of that. Well, I suppose I'm actually thinking about it. Well, won't livestock come from... Having a... Uh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> we can't really build anything right now. What can we build? I suppose we should, we should just go in order, shouldn't we? We don't, we, we don't have any bridge and road, but then we can build a traders. And bring in goods that you are lacking, as well as selling the produce that your tradesmen create. So I might as well build a road now, and then we can get... I can get a road, can I? Okay, let's build the road. What? Except it's four grand, and I could afford it. A lot of money. A lot of money. But we can't build everything at once, and that's the idea, is it? Come on, get better. Yeah. Hey. What? Just, I'm doing... So... Okay. Where have you gone? Build the rod. I want to build. Certainly. <laughs> that rickety old footbridge won't do. We need a proper bridge and a firm road. Hmm. Right. That should do it. We've got everything we need to start building. Come with me. And then we can get goods in. So we don't have, which might include stone and stuff. See what you mean about the church, though, of course. But there's no point having a grand church if there's no one here. <laughs> so, Pave roads and a stone bridge, please, and then we'll get a trader. Though that'll be in a while. We need to get money, so that's where we'll do more side quests. We're going to build here? Right here. Ready to start? I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. All good. We can start construction. A few days later. <laughs> oh, very nice. Oh, this is a real sense of you doing stuff. That's brilliant. That's better, isn't it? Now we've got a way into the village so we can bring stuff. Right. I'd like to be the first person to go across it, though. I saw some interloper doing it first, which I'm not too happy about. But now we have to go, because uh, we don't have anybody left. 
think we've got enough in there to cover um, expenses for a while. But yes, all right then, good, great. So, right then, what are we doing? More than that, all right, so we'll leave that for a while. Build a trader's house, yep, yeah, okay, that uh, was um, actually what I was doing. So, good stuff. All right, the mysterious knight in Sessa. Well, we also need to go for uh, the uh, the armorers. <clears throat> Get one of them, and um, it's close to Rate, where I can hire my friend to do the woodcutting. So that's good. Uh, Billetrier's house. That's fine. And then we've got interlopers Seb Sebastian, uh, which is also in Satai. Oh. Um. And then that is on the way back there. So, what I'll probably do is. Now we're up here. Um, I'm gonna go to Skeletor Rov now. Go down here. We'll end up back at one of these, won't we? And they all have inns where I can get quests. I might head back down to my head, I think. Um, so, I think that's there. There's no quest tips in there, fine. No one done there either. Or there, fine. Looks like we're going to Talbot. <laughs> Which is this way! So... Yeah, nice, nice. So, you know, there's... My town. Yeah, we'll pick up some side quests and stuff for the t from the quest tipsters. And, of course, if there's any bandits in the way, we'll be tied then because I now need their loot. This is nice. Now it gives, like, a real feel. Because we're kind of decked out, you know, as I said. You know, we, we, we kind of sorted for equipment and everything now, as far as I can tell. We can make, like, minor, very minor changes to our outfit and get, like, better-looking clothes and stuff. But pre basically, pretty much, we're, I think we've kind of set. Um, so... It's a nice thing to uh, to work on. So it doesn't look pebbles like I'm going to re be replacing you. You'll be able, you won't be able to retire anytime soon. Hello. I was thinking about going over there, but you've made me change my mind, sir. You don't have to be uh, hostile, of course. You're a wayfaring knigger. What is it? I'd like to challenge you to a duel, sir. A little amicable combat. Why would I want to fight you? An honor and friend. For honor. For the thrill of combat. Well, if that's how you look at it. So, shall we cross swords? That sounds interesting. But what shall we fight for? Ah, so chivalry alone is not enough to tempt you. No, sir. I'm drawn to more uh, <laughs> no. glittery things. I see. Well, why not? Let us make it more interesting, then. I'll tell you what. I have a fine suit of armor, a horse and a sword I want at dice. The horse and sword I can use, but the armor doesn't fit me well. I'll bet a piece of armor against a reasonable sum of groschen. All right. Why not? I'm glad to hear it. Let's get to it then. Good stuff. Whoa, dude. I better not put my sword away just now. Ooh. Ah, god damn it. Did it for me. Ah. Well, that's a good start. Let's not be over uh, confident though. But you do know who we are, don't you? We are skeletons, and these are my lands. I'm on home turf, you know. <laughs> you think you're good, do you? <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, yes, apparently. The reward you earned. Cool. Thanks. Well, that's some loot. <laughs> um, I don't think it's any better than what we've already got. Oh, actually. Yes, it is. 
Although, let's uh, wait a minute. Um, yeah, it is, isn't it? Uh, where's the uh, I'm info? So we've got 23, 23, and 9. 24, 24, and 10. Better. Cool. Alright then. And then we can sell that, which is, again, a lot of money. Thanks very much. That was an absolute bargain, that was. I, I do appreciate that. I hope to meet you again. We're going the wrong way though, aren't we? We are going, well... Actually, technically, no. We're not. Damn. Stay away from people if you can't ride a horse, you moron! Yeah. Oh, damn it! <laughs> yeah. Oh, I missed him again. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, oh, there we go. There's the uh, way we need to go. And he's going into town, it looks like. I doubt I'll ever see him again, but still. Well, there we go. There's a nice, uh, what, what, what should we say, 1,500? 1,000 groschen just there. Riding through the woods. Goodness. I hope nothing happens to me. It would be terrible if a band of uh, highly armoured men were to attack me so I could take their loot. I mean, so they could take my loot. Maybe just one heavily armoured foe who thinks he can take me out. That would be awful. Look at what happens, is it? <clears throat> oh! What goes on here? Something, something. Oh, okay, fine, fine. Well, you're not on my side, are you? Okay, boys. It is the whole, you know, two people thing again that's that's got me here. Because they're both like really tough. And I'm like, well. Okay. Alright. Get the. Not yet. We're fine. Two rabbits there. You see that? Two freaking rabbits. You see them? Eat. Bad bandages. Ah, uh, well. Hi. Let's not be hasty. Let's loot first. So, what we got here? Yes. So, uh, um, take, 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 take. 
free money. I know there's a dude over there as well. Okay, well he's hurting as well, so we'll just leave that for now. Ah, uh, disappointing. And you do something I keep forgetting is <laughs> their um, weapons. Can't really tell what it's like until you pick them up. Maybe Warhammer's gonna be good though, yeah. Well, the Pierce is no. Yeah, it's not gonna be. All right, let's uh, move to horse. Move to horse. 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 Basically everything I'm not actually wearing. Oh, and those as well. I forgot about those. Just drop that. Right. Rise. <laughs> Don't move a thing. Oh, damn it. You're a guard. I thought you were a bandit. Oops. Big oops. <laughs> I've screwed up here. Well, if we kill him, fine. We'll kill him with two. We'll, we'll, we'll kill him in cold blood, and then hopefully everything will be fine. That's a bandit. That's a god. Oh no. Oh boy. Oops. Oh no. These are the two I've just looted. Another guy as well, wasn't there? Probably another innocent god. Oh boy. Oh, hello. No, that's. Troubles. I feel bad. I just assumed because everyone else I meet is bandits. Oh, boy. You have anything, will you? Hell, yeah, okay, good. Well, how are guards um, equipped? Mind you, we only know it's a guard because the game is telling us. Henry doesn't know it's a guard. I know he might have like a guard's tunic on, but that could have been just taken by a bandit. So, <laughs> mind you, it's not the worst thing we've done, is it? Oh, you're looking to uh, sidekick. Yeah, you've got loads of uh, inventory stuff left. Which is good, because we're not there yet. There was another guy around, though, wasn't there? What I'm kind of worried about. And he was, I wouldn't say helping me. It was, it was an asset, of course, that he was there. Didn't get very far, did he? <laughs> Don't know if this is him, though. What do you bugger off? Look at this. Oh, what? You're not hunting hair anymore? Well, <laughs> hello there. Uh. Yeah, see, it's all stealing. Yeah, so the other guy is dead. Plus, well, this isn't marked as stealing, is it? So, uh, yeah, we'll grab that. But all, at least pay a lockpick. Why would he have that? He's obviously a criminal. Right. Now I feel the need to uh, get there, because we've sort of oof, accomplished our aim of getting loot down. Yeah. 
fairly happy with that now. So we need to get somewhere where we can sell it, and Thalberg is not that. Uh, the yeah. ruined uh, cabin. We are going to go past the quarry, aren't we? This way. So we can get our stuff. Or is it over there? It's down there, isn't it? Far away. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> this was a mistake. There we go! Well done, Pebbles. Good stuff. Good stuff, Pebbles. Get our stuff repaired. Yeah. God's blessing. Everybody loves me. God be with you. All right, let's just select everything. Okay, and of course, haggle. <laughs> Down yeah, to 400 or something. Can we do something about the price? Hmm. All right, so. It beating up as well, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Are we agreed? Well, a little more and we'll call it a deal. Very well, I agree. Thanks. Uh, how much money have you got? Not a lot. Yeah, and it's all on pebbles anyway, so... We'll leave it. Find you, it is. 500, isn't it? So let's have a look. What we got here? Yeah, I can maybe sell that. And... Oops, is he gonna even take them? Right. Well, yeah, nobles. Well, I probably shouldn't be bringing them around, um, that as well. Of course, now we'll have to repair them as well. <clears throat> See you later. Messed up later, yeah. You. Okay, sell. Oh, oh it's a new... worth very little once you've done that. Where do these though? He is going to buy all this. How much is that? Okay, that's about what he's got. Now it's fine. All right. Ah, uh, just okay. that's five hundred more. Find this quest tipster. Maybe have a bit of a wash. Get rid of this marker. Yeah, other side. There's a bass right there as well. It's, I'm sure there's a bass in here somewhere. Was, yeah, there. I don't think we need to go in here, do we? We're just here for the tipster. Maybe get a bath. Yeah. It's been a long day. You know, we, we've uh, built two buildings. Ah, cells, but see a bit. Well, it's not really today, though, is it? I keep thinking of sessions as days because they normally are. What I'm doing. Next one. But in this case, it's been about six days. All right, let's see what sort of stuff we get from these guys. It's an interesting way to, uh... What are you looking at there, exactly? Uh, my <clears throat> humble greetings. How may I serve you? I was actually wondering about this. How are the Talmberg folk getting on? Is it peaceful here? Do you even have to ask? 
Some poachers have settled in the woods near the inn. A right band of them too. The master huntsman's at his wits end with them. And maybe he could use your help. Ah, uh, maybe. So a tipster. The master huntsman's up there. Yes. That's nice. That's a really, really natural way to do things, isn't it? Right, rather than have a bath. We're just going to get dirty again doing this, aren't we? Yeah, really nice, natural way to um, get quests. Because the innkeeper will, will hear all the sorts of stories, won't he? So, naturally, he's the one who points you in the direction of things. He doesn't give you the quest, but... God bless. Can I help you? I like it. Master Huntsman, is there any work for me here? There's always something that needs doing. You're that Scullet's lad, aren't you? Sir Radzig's lackey. Sir Radzig is my liege, and I serve him faithfully. Yeah. That doesn't make me a lackey. You tell him. As you wish. What matters to me is that you're no layabout looking for easy work. I have a job here I can't give to just anyone. I'm listening. We've been having terrible problems with poachers lately. In Sir Divish's forests, We've been finding gutted entrails of deer and rabbit nooses all over the place, but no sign of the bastards who put them there. And you want me to track down the poachers? Indeed. Whatever you learn will be useful to me. Hmm. All right. That sounds pretty good, actually. Bit of a change of pace. Do you suspect anyone? Well, it's hard to say, but seeing how much harm they're causing, I'd say they're no crofters looking for a Sunday roast. Yeah. Shouldn't you be dealing with the poachers yourself? I should, I should. You're quite right. But when I ask the local folk anything, their mouths close up like clams. They're more scared of me than the devil. Do you think the locals are in on it? Well, I don't know. Maybe. But even if not, they'll never talk to me. They're scared I'll dig some skeleton out of their cupboard. You know, the smaller the village, the bigger the secrets. That's why I need an outsider to ask for me. I understand. Hmm. Alright then. I'll try to find out something about them. Any advice about where to start? Certainly. Ask around the village. Somebody must have seen or heard something. Back to the inn. And it wouldn't hurt to ask in the inn in the glade, the one on the road towards Neuhof. I've heard they serve good venison. And no shortage of it. That's clear enough. As soon as I hear anything, I'll let you know. Thanks cool. for your help, lad. That's where we met that old whore, isn't it? God be with you. Right, Pebbles. We gotta go investigating. Do you know anything? Good place to start. Do you know anything, Margaret? God be with you. Do you need anything? I'd like to find out about the poachers around here who've been stealing game recently. If you ask me, there's some questions best left unanswered. But go and see Elena if you're determined. That old gossip will tell you all there is to know. Uh -huh. God be with you. Well, wasn't that worth it? Though she didn't know anything, but she knew where the village gossip was. Okay. We're straight past the inn now, then. Ah, sweet. Again, this really natural. Works really well. I don't know anything, but I know someone who knows lots of gossip. Why don't you talk to them? Pretty good. We've got a better bridge than you already. You might have... More houses and people and industry and a castle, but we've got a better bridge, so screw you, Thalberg. God preserve you. Good night. Can I do something for you? I heard there are poachers in the woods round here. 
If only if it was just poachers. It's that sorcerer Hare. He's the one who's been running amok. <laughs> I said he'd be back, and I said he'd be vengeful. And I was right both times. A lot of horses ass, that is. Um... Tell me something about Hanukkah Hare. Ah, that was all years ago. He turned up here one day. No one rightly knew where from. He claimed up at the castle to be a nobleman's son, and so he got the office of Master Huntsman, and Margaret was promised him for his wife. Nobody could have known he was a sorcerer. Dude. And how did his sorcery reveal itself? Well... He was able to vanish into thin air in the forest, right in front of folk. And I've heard it said he spoke to animals, too. Though I don't know the truth of it. That well, doesn't sound very convincing to me. That's because you've not seen his marksmanship. It was natural, the things he could do with that bow of his. They say he sold his soul for the gift of it. I see. They say. How did it go with Margaret? I'm not one to gossip, <laughs> but she was a flighty lass in her younger years. She could never make up her mind which one she wanted, the hare or Nicholas. So in the end, fate decided for her. What do you mean? What happened with hare? Oh, that was quite something. And then some on top of it. Sir Henry of Lipo was visiting here at the castle, and hare snapped his guardman's neck with his bare hands. Of course, they found him out. But how do you keep a sorcerer under lock and key? You can't. That's your answer. And that Satan spawn slipped the net. Oh, well. It's quite a wild story. That is quite a wild story. Any idea why he murdered the man? No one knows. And most likely never will. But they say he was fully in the devil's power. There was a full moon, you see. Of course. Of course. Was he actually seen killing the guardsman? I suppose so. Else they'd hardly know who did it, would they? Hmm. That's probably true. Mm. There is one other thing I want to ask. Um. Who does Hare want revenge on? Master Huntsman Nicholas, of course. When the hare disappeared, Nicholas took his Margaret and the huntsman's posting. So Nicholas came out of it well. That one always knew how to land on his feet. Tell me something about Hanuk and Hare. Oh, we've seen all this. Ah, uh, that was all. He... Uh, sorry. Uh, bye. Well, I should be going. Thanks for the chat. Not at all. I always like a good chin wag. Obviously. Goodbye. Yeah, maybe we should check out the end. Wherever it is. Yeah, this is probably a better lead, isn't it? <laughs> Although there may be some truth into that. Still, um, not in terms of like him being the devil and everything, but trying to bring out of business. Because he took his the girl that he fancied. I don't know. Uh, okay, we want uh, bath or not to bath. See what we'll do. See what we'll do. We'll bath. And then next time, we're going to head to the Inn in the Glade. But we are a bit bad, aren't we? You know, we've got blood all over our clothes and stuff. It's just not nice to see when he's chatting to people. So, uh, you know. Even though he was pretty grubby herself. God bless. I'd like to. Uh huh. Um. Mm, heal our wounds Proper. as well. That's not something that but we. Uh, Fine. Ever I needed for, but now it is. We'll do that as well. I've already got the clean shaven thing, so I don't need that. Although I could redo it, and maybe it'll read. Maybe it'll. Yeah, because it only lasts a, a while, doesn't it? And if, if doing it again, I reset the timer, 
I don't know. I'm interested. And what is? A physician. I have a few wounds I desperately need someone to treat. That can be arranged. But you'll pay in advance. You know who I am? Yeah, 20. Years. Fine. Here it is. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. God be with you. Make a new man of me. I didn't want healing. I don't want anything else, ladies. I know I'm Henry and all that. I'm Henry of Skeletons. I know I'm a big deal. But, uh, it's all good. Really. We can still get to the end before nightfall. I'm interested. Uh huh. Get a shave. Well, let's not get a shave. Let's get the opposite of a shave. So, you know, it's been a while, hasn't it? So. I'd like that. Thank you. Next time we'll get a shave. <laughs> but of course. Yeah, money. Fine. I'm sure. Take care. Brilliant. Okay. So next time. Nice. You don't really get. Yeah, yeah. It's nice to, to just have people like having a bit of sing song to themselves. Again, a very natural. This whole, this whole, you know, episode. It's, it's felt very natural. I think it's it's felt pretty good. I've enjoyed it. Quite immersive. I feel. Next time we're going to head this way. We're going to head uh, to the Inn in the Glade and then uh, check out where they're getting their venison from. Um, yeah, I'm liking this. I am liking this. And then, uh, well, you know, Sasau isn't a million miles away from there, is it? Not here. That's a fairly straight road anyway. Ah, well, that's for next time. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that. See you next time. Good luck.